today we are making a very nice and delicious meat and fish vegetables light soup soupy delicious no tomato paste added let's dive right in so to begin i'll start by prepping all my ingredients and get it cooking so you know we can go ahead and start making the soup but i'm using um red bell peppers to get that red rich color that we normally use the tomato paste for okay so i will just prep all all of my ingredients and we'll wash them and i'm also adding in some carrots so our soup is very nice rich and high in minerals in antioxidants and everything healthy If you're new here, my name is Gifty, a warm and pleasant welcome to you. Thank you so much for clicking on this video to watch. I hope you like it enough to subscribe, share and comment on this video. And to all our returning subscribers, thank you so, so much for coming back to watch our video. I truly appreciate you. Thank you all. And I hope you also comment, like and share this video with your loved ones. Our vegetables for the soup are ready so I'll go ahead and wash these add some water and start cooking it so I have here two peppers in the blender I'll add two peppers and I'll also chop up the um, the ginger and add in the blender uh, add the garlic as well into the blender please note that the garlic and ginger are washed as well This is about a quarter onion, which I'm going to die, finely dice, and this will go on our meat that we're going to steam. I'll add in about a teaspoon of anise seed. In place of that, you may also use fennel seeds. Then add a little bit of water, blend this until nice and smooth. Into your pot, add in your choice of meat or proteins. I'm using some lamb meat, which I have cleaned it very well and removed some of the fatty parts off of it. And I have here some tripe as well. This is lamb tripe. And to that, I'm going to add um, about a teaspoon of, um, of um, thyme. Yeah, thyme. I'll add some salt to taste. I'm using the dried thyme. You can use fresh. And then I'll add the bit of um onion that i diced and to that i'm going to add the blended ingredients rinse out your blender and add uh, some of the moisture or some of the water into your pot give this a stir then cover and allow your meat to steam nice and slow okay you don't want it to be high going to check on our vegetables this is how it's looking as you can see it's starting to um, cook or it's starting to come up to a boil so I will cover it and allow it to finish cooking meanwhile we'll go ahead and check on our meat this is how it looks I'll just give it a stir and the aroma is amazing already I will cover it back up as you can see it's released a lot of moisture so cover it back up and allow it to do its thing and my vegetables are ready I'll remove it and put it in the blender then allow it to cool down a little bit then go ahead and blend it if you've watched until now thank you so much for sticking around type fufu in the comment section so i know you're still here after removing the vegetables you want to save the broth which we're going to add to the soup base Blend this until nice and smooth, just like so. If your blender is not um, powerful enough, then you want to strain this, but I'm not going to. I'll go ahead and check on our meat base and I'll add in the blended ingredients. Rinse out your blender and you add that liquid in the soup. And remember the vegetable broth that we had I added that in there off camera and I'll top it off with a little bit more water so at this point the consistency of your soup depends on what you like mm -hmm. 
cover and allow this to simmer for about 20-25 minutes or so and 25 minutes later this is how it looks so I'm going to add in some grilled or oven baked uh, mackerel and mullet and some mushrooms as well and I'm going to add some extra pepper for some heat for those who need it taste for your salt and adjust if need be I needed a little bit more salt so I added a little bit more salt to that and I'll give it a stir one more time and taste it tasted amazing and perfect so at this point I'm just going to add um, some basil to this fresh basil for that extra you know freshness towards the end and I'll cover and allow it to simmer gently for about 15 more minutes so whilst our soup continues to cook let me share with you the easiest way that I wash my blender especially after blending it with peppers and onions and all that stuff so we can use it as well for smoothies and you know all those fruity drinks and stuff so I start by um, using a lime you can also use um, lemon I just quartered it and I'll add a little bit of water to this then I'll add a drip uh, adjust a drop of liquid soap washing liquid soap cover it and blend this for about a minute are you still here please kindly like share and comment on this video for me in place of the lime you can also use vinegar that's also a great alternative to use now that it's done go ahead and wash it just as you would with some soap and water rinse it off let it dry and put it away now let's get back to our soup and 15 minutes later our soup is ready once you see the oil surfacing on top sis your soup is ready and you can serve this with anything so at this point i'm going to taste it one more time to ensure that my seasoning and everything is on point and it was great so I'll cover it turn the heat off until you know my fufu or kokonte I serve this with kokonte it's ready and at this point our kokonte is ready so we'll go ahead and serve ourselves some guys the aroma ah so amazing so you see you don't need tomato paste or tomato sauce to make your soup look nice and vibrant and i'll top it off with some boiled okra and or okra and that is it i hope you give this recipe a try and you do enjoy it and thank you so much for doing this with me and until we meet again stay blessed stay out of trouble and be well bye y'all